hey guys um this may be a series it may be a one-off but um there's been some interest from you about uh the idea of shopping your closet and exchanges and thrifting and wearing what you have and all of that and so i'm going to talk a little bit about just what i wore today on um, we have an appointment coming up on um, so i this is just what i wore this is what i'm wearing today it's not specifically for this video but um i think it can be really tempting to get into the mindset of like i need this and like the scarcity mindset i think is what it would be called um, like I need this, I don't have these things, I want this look, but I don't have every single piece and um, like everything she's wearing is noonday, so I have to get everything noonday. And, and I think um, you don't have to do that. I, I love noonday, I love Seiko, I love Crown Free, I love other ethical brands, I love homemade jewelry, I, may, I love jewelry that's been gifted and jewelry that is um, made from seeds that I made years ago with a program that partnered with Brazil, like all these different things. Like these are gorgeous pieces, but you don't have to have the exact same thing to get the look. And, and I'm going to, I do want you guys to support Noonday and Seiko and all these other, um, or, or local markets when you're traveling. Like I want you to support people that are making dignified wages rather than fast fashion and things that are made in a sweatshop by six year old children. Um, did you know that one in six sad fact? I need it. I asked her the source of it. And she didn't get it for me, but um, within the community, it's a number that has been going around for a while from different documentaries and things. But I believe it's between the ages of six and 14, one in six children in developing countries is doing some sort of manual or slave labor. So really sad to think about like our clothing is made like this shirt. I got it at Ross. So it's kind of a, in the middle of ethical and fast fashion where it's a like using that excess to keep it from going to landfills and it's a little bit cheaper. Um, this shirt though might have been made by children even though I got it kind of in a slightly more ethical way. Um, that's that's crazy, that's sad that like watching my baby, <laughs> he's a little tired and fussy, crawling around like, like that's tragic, right? Like I don't want him to grow up and make people's clothes for nothing, for pennies. But all of that said, we're gonna talk about how to um, shop your closet and ways to achieve looks that are similar. And um, if you look at a look or a style that you like, think about the feel of it. Think about kind of the overall look. The um, If you're familiar with art terms, the elements and principles of design, uh, my favorite one to talk about with jewelry and fashion is unity variety. Um, look at what things unify a look together and look at what things stand out and are unique. Um, if you like just the layering pieces and you don't want the big earrings, Unity is going to be stripes, these kind of create stripes. I'm doing this on the fly, I haven't planned it out. But you can see there's kind of stripes repeated. You can see the neckline shape is repeated. You can see the multicolor and white is repeated. Um, this one stands out, but it's more of a neutral, the way that I'm wearing it. It's not, it's different, but it's, it's neutral. Um, and then you can see white balls, white circles, white pearls. Um, this one's not a pearl, it's an enamel ladybug, but um, you can see. So how can you create a look that is layered with maybe one piece a little bit longer and then a statement and then um, like something shorter? Could you do this with three pieces? If you only have three pieces, could you do it with two pieces and get a very similar look? Which two, usually I wouldn't go with, oh my goodness, this is hard to do in a camera. Um, I usually wouldn't go with a shorter charm and then a longer one like that, but that, I kind of like that. Um, would you go with just these two? Um, sorry, that there you go. Would you go with just those two? What? How can you get what you like from this look? What do you like about it? Do you like the color? Do you like the contrast? Um, it might be that I've, I've started learning that I look a little bit better in whites and silvers. It might be that for you, that's gold. And so you need to switch this look up to gold. And so um, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can um, you can get this look a different way. If you like the overall look, if the earrings aren't too much for you, then these are the statement. And this is just kind of an accent that goes with it. And it's kind of a neutral in comparison to the earrings, right? Um, but these colors are all repeated. They're not the same shape. They're not the same thing, but there's unity there. It brings it together. It doesn't have to be the same pattern and print. In fact, personally, I prefer to mix prints with the same color family. Um, if I were wearing a black kawa shawl, um, so black and white pattern, I would probably not wear my kawa headband with it. I would wear um, specifically one that I got from my grandmother, when, or got, was passed down to me when my grandmother passed away. Um, 
we'll see if he gets himself when he comes out i'm gonna grab him um but as i stick my butt in the camera <laughs> but you can see that i'm gonna take this off of you actually i'm just gonna turn it on um, i'm taking it off because he's a little fussy but um Do you want it off? Let me help you. There you go. There you go. Um, but you can see how you can get an overall look, an overall feeling. Um, if you want your earrings to be the statement, that'd be the statement. Um, if you want like your headband to be the statement or your shirt, whatever it is. Um, the variety is where that focal point is going to be. So whatever stands out most, which right now I think would be these earrings against my hair. Um, could be my lipsticks. I don't wear lipstick, but I think that's just me because I don't. I'm not used to wearing lipstick. Um, but that these are like, and these aren't new. These are crown free. I think I said that like three times already. But if you don't have these earrings, um, the petite hoops, which you get for free when you spend $150 um, this season, the petite hoops would be a good option for this. They are kind of a white and pinkish. They are kind of a neutral, but also would stand out in a similar way, but much more traditional and much more classic, even though they're kind of a statement -y classic, which statement classic hoops are kind of trending right now. How is that for a <laughs> sentence? Statement classic hoops are kind of trending. Um, but those would be another option. Also, um, the Karina earrings, which are longer, I think the Wonder earrings could all give you kind of a similar feel of something a little bit more statement, but also um, kind of neutral. If you were doing a darker look, the Wonder earrings would be great. And if you were doing more black and white, like with the Kawa, the Karina earrings would be great. Um, if you don't have any of those, um, could you make a pair with leather? Um, or could you make a pair with your own beads? Could you make uh, one longer chain? Could you use um, something that you already have? Could you attach another dangly piece that you have to uh, like a clip-on earring? Like what ways can you achieve the looks that you like? You don't have to do it um, the same way that I would or that someone else would. You can, um, the beautiful thing about fashion is you get to play around and be creative and you get to do your own thing. There are no rules. Um, but I do think that the principles and elements of design within art are a great place to start. So go look those up if you're curious. Um, let me know if you want a video on it. He has an appointment soon and he's not napping. <laughs> I've tried this. But we may hop in the car and head that way and see if he falls asleep and we'll let him sleep in the parking lot instead of the waiting room. Uh, but yeah, I hope, that, I hope this was helpful. Let me know, he loves that sound. Um, if I scream back, he'll start laughing, but I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's embarrassing. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you think, what you're curious about, if you have fashion, art. Um, that's kind of the way that I look at fashion is add art because I'm an artist and I, I teach art. Um, I don't really teach fashion, but I, I, it's been fun to learn. So why not start? Um, thanks guys. I will see you around. Take care. Goodbye.